van life destinations in the US is Glacier National Park. This was actually my first national park ever and my first time seeing the Rocky Mountains so I feel like that definitely just played a lot into how much of an effect this area had on me and how much I cherish and remember our time there. I just have never felt so free in my life. The views were absolutely breathtaking. The camping near the national park was plentiful and the weather was absolutely perfect for van life in the summer. We visited during the winter time and one of our favorite parts of this area is how incredibly easy it is to park in beautiful spots. We actually were able to camp only a few miles from Hot Springs with this gorgeous view of mountains in the background. It's also really close to Mammoth Mountain, so for those of you who like to ski and snowboard, it is an awesome area to check out in the wintertime. Mammoth Mountain is the place where Taylor landed her first air and did her first black diamond, so the mountain is pretty special though. Oh yeah! It was a mini jump, but I did it! Last run of the trip, Diamond. Diamond. Finally made it on a diamond. We're really close to the Lake District, and we love the Lake District. But the Lake District in winter just takes on a completely different feel. It's so much quieter than it is in the summer feel. It's so much bell tops to yourself, and it does come up with some really good winter walking and climbing conditions major benefits of the Lake District is that there are a number of really good campsites that are open year round. To be honest we know and love the National Trust campsites so some of our favorite campsites in the entire country are based in the Lake District. New Mexico. New Mexico doesn't really show up that often on positive lists. In this one they kind of win hands down. It's beautiful, it's affordable and that BLM Bureau of Land Management they have a lot of lots for that. This is another place where you could could survive for seven months a year on $25 a month rent. Sure, you got to supply your own van or camper or whatever, but for $25 a month, seven months a year, you could live in one of these spots. You can go from different spots. Your $25 a month isn't for one spot. You can move all around the state. Let's say there's someone there you don't like living around. You could pack up your stuff and go to one 50 miles away. Now, New Mexico has some problems, but 99% of their problems are in the cities. Living off the grid, living the van life, whatever you want to do, it's going to be pretty safe in New Mexico. 